universe has been acting too weird lately. Scientists are finding such possibilities that once seemed impossible are absurd. But everything aside, the idea of finding life outside Earth is beyond astonishing. From microbial creature evidence to finding water in the universe, it seems too strange to ponder about. But life on Neptune is beyond anything. Neptune, a farthest known last solar planet with beautiful radiances of blue-green hues. Where it is the third largest planet with respect to mass, it's only the fourth largest planet in terms of diameter. Why people love to study this planet? Because it's the biggest gas giant with almost 14 known moons all of which are named after Greek methodologies. Neptune has an intense gravitational pull on objects around its orbit, making them move faster than they would in any other part of the solar system. Even though if you dig further, you'll find Neptune's moons are more interesting. Some are made of icy blocks, while the other ones are covered in a dark material that absorbs light, making them appear like little black holes in space. However, with its insane temperature ranges and harsh weather, Life on Neptune is almost impossible to exist, but NASA doesn't agree with this statement. The scientists are way too sure that there must be something strange happening on the surface of Neptune since it's quite far from Uranus, but their temperature is remarkably similar. That sounds too good to be true. It all started way back when Voyager 2 reached Neptune in 1988 and observed some six new moons wandering around it. It captured their images, particularly the orbiting planet's ring, and noticed harsh and violent windstorms of up to 1500 miles per hour, known as the Great Dark Spot. This storm was unexpected and raised questions about the extreme winds on Neptune. Because of quite crazy temperature ranges, how was the wind supposed to offend Neptune's surface? However, when the Hubble Space Telescope reached Neptune after five years, there was no windstorm to be observed. It was quiet and calm but the scientists were keen to learn why that storm was too extreme. However, while researching around Neptune, scientists were baffled by another shocking sight. Neptune is way too at a distance from the Sun, but still, it's warmer, whereas Uranus, which isn't too far, wasn't this much warm. It was such a puzzling situation to evaluate what was actually going on in this part of the universe. Anthony Del Genio of NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies GISS, said, Voyager's measurements show Neptune emits more than twice as much heat as it absorbs from the Sun, while Uranus does not. Jupiter and Saturn also emit almost twice as much heat as they absorb, but Uranus does not. Uranus is the oddball. This makes us all ponder how Neptune is generating heat while Uranus can't have it. Is there an internal heat source or something more intriguing? Some scientists also argue that this heat might not form an internal effect, but instead comes from a burp. Tollefson said, the burps are convection, which may happen in discrete episodes separated by long time periods. But we may not know if it works this way for sure unless we see one of these convective episodes take place. However, despite this many observations, the source of the remaining internal heat was claimed to be unknown. Despite this, life on Neptune is still a mystery and often related to its harsh atmosphere conditions. It's composed of 80% hydrogen, 19% helium, and 1% methane. Similar to Uranus, Neptune's blue hues are due in part to its atmospheric methane, which absorbs light, having a wavelength corresponding to red. Apart from that, there are two significant patterns observed in Neptune, and both were quite strange. The first one was the dark spot that was detected by Voyager 2. They were quite similar to the great dark spot found in Jupiter, but there was a striking difference. The great dark spot has a long lifespan, whereas dark spots disappeared after four years viewed by the Hubble Space Telescope just four years after the Voyager 2 flyby. Neptune's atmosphere is almost estimated around minus 214 degrees Celsius, approximately 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Its moon, Triton, is the coldest known object in the solar system, with a recorded surface temperature of 235 degrees Celsius. Unlike Earth, which is known to have a mild temperature due to its distance from the Sun, Neptune is incredibly cold. If their life really exists, it would need to have evolved mechanisms to survive in temperatures that are unimaginably frigid for Earth standards. The pressure in Neptune is most likely too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. Its hypothesized in-depth ocean exerts tremendous pressure, much greater than the deepest parts of Earth's oceans. 
Life in Neptune is supposed to tolerate this infinite pressure, otherwise without cavities and air pockets that could be crushed. There's another sign also. Life on Earth relies heavily on sunlight, whereas on Neptune, sunlight is scarce. It's already too distant from the sun since sunlight almost escapes this zone. So if life exists on Neptune, it might have to rely on thermal vents or chemical reactions similar to some deep sea creatures on Earth. However, despite the dissimilarity, there are some surprising similarities and stark contrasts between earthly and Neptunian life. Just like creatures on Earth have particular adaptations to their habitat, such as camels in deserts, polar bears in cold regions, and fishes in oceans, Neptunian living beings would also be adapted to their particular environment. But unlike Earth, Neptune may not have any solid surface, given its gaseous and liquid composition. This means life there would either float in the atmosphere or swim in the oceans, with no land creatures. They won't have access to sunlight, so Neptunian creatures will rely on chemical sources. They will also lack mineral sources on the planet's crust that may have benefited them from having another sustainable energy source. Earth has a variety of ecosystems, from rainforests to deserts. Neptune may also have diverse habitats, from its deep oceans to its clouds. There are endless possibilities for how life could look on Neptune. But at the same time, it seems impossible to have such an assumption. Also out of the 13 moons in Neptune, its largest one, Triton, is said to be a natural dwarf planet captured by Neptune's gravitational field and thus not a natural satellite of the planet. The largest Neptunian moon orbited retrogradely and was most likely captured from the icy Kuiper Belt, a distant asteroid ring. The wrenching change in the moon's trajectory probably heated it up, perhaps enough to warm a global ocean below the crust. However, despite these possibilities, all the gas giants after Jupiter have no landable surface. The lack of oxygen and, most importantly, the crazy temperature makes the presence of any living creature impossible. It's too good to be the true dream of scientists and find life traces on the surfaces of Neptune, Uranus, and where not. Planet Neptune has temperatures and winds that are inhospitable to life forms we're familiar with until now. The pressure inside the core of Neptune is enough to crush any life signs if it exists. Not only this, but the windstorm surrounding its shell also haunts it, as Hulk would never let any creature form and come close to it. Nevertheless, life on Neptune also challenges our very definition of life. We usually understand the living organism on Earth as carbon-based, but the potential existence of life on Neptune might challenge this notion. If life would ever exist in Neptune, it would have completely opposite biochemistries. The living organism may be silicon-based or rely on any other elements. Also, we've been familiar with the habitable zone, where conditions are just right for the liquid water to exist, and so has life. But having life symptoms on Neptune expands our understanding of this zone, suggesting that life might exist even in regions previously considered too cold or inhospitable. But despite near to no possibility of life, scientists are still determined to launch missions to reach Neptune. They're designing probes and rovers specifically to study Neptune's atmosphere, oceans, and any other potential life forms in greater detail. NASA is even tempted to develop equipment that can withstand Neptune's cold temperatures and high pressures and should be sensitive enough to detect any form of life if forming. Until yet, it's all just an assumption but no one knows if life can really form this far from Earth. So, until then, let's end this video here. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and let us know your take on life on Neptune.